Hello, so this is our D8 ATAR we've recently picked up. It's a 1944 Caterpillar crawler. I think they made about 10,000 of these. Most of them are normally green because they were using the war effort. But this one's had a life. For some reason, it's got good tracks and a knackered engine. So we were quite lucky to get it because we've got a better D8 that needs tracks desperately. So we're going to transfer all of this stuff off of this, refurb it, and fit it to the other D8. The engine will keep complete. It starts and runs well, but it comes with about six big cracks in the block, which we've masticed up. Previous owner unfortunately left some water in it after we'd run it and forgot to drain it, so it's been frosted. Real shame. But we've already made a start, getting the tank off, fenders off, give us a bit more room around the tracks. We're having trouble getting these bolts out. They're completely seized through the link and the plate. And for some reason, the nuts have got nothing left on them really to put a bar in and hold them still. And the fact they're very corroded as well. So we're gonna show you how we get them out with the gas carefully nut gun the bolts out quite a long process but yeah the rest of it's pretty good good sprockets the rollers look okay from what i can see but we'll put a bar on them see if there's any play but yeah real shame it was a nice tractor once but we use it for parts already made a start on this side but as you can see, we've had to get the gas out. Most of them are coming out, but a few of them, the bolt's still stuck in the link. So I'm gonna show you how we get them out in a minute. Here's one we've already done. Let's blew the core out with the gas, let it cool down, and then punch it out. So we carry on getting these trap plates off and we'll show you what this uh what these tracks need to go on now the other d8 so we've got some other d7s in here and this is where the other d8 is this is a d7 7m 1943 it's all restored normally it starts on the button but it has its days Six volt starter motor on the donkey engine. Quite a nice machine to operate over over a gantry cable operated. So this one's a 4T 1944 D7. Exactly the same configuration really. 6 volt starter, you still use a crank handle on the top, big bench seat and this is the D8 that needs the tracks. The pads ain't too bad but the chains have worn down beyond their, their wear limit. The sprockets are pretty good though. Strain. Yeah, the 8R 8 1944 again. Big blade. Hydraulic pump on the front, mechanically driven. So, yeah, once those parts are off the other D8, we get this one stripped down as well. Sounds easy, but I bet it won't be. Logging winch on the back. Got no cable for it yet. Cable control unit on this D7. Operates the cable through the gantry system and pulls the blade up and down. You can do it all off one drum, but this has got two. 
Yeah, you can run the scraper boxes off of these, pretty handy. Same sort of thing, cable control unit, two drums. So here we have some stuck bolts that we've blown the core out with the gas and now we're just punching them out. Luckily with this we had just enough room to get the torch into the chain and cut all four bolts off each link. So we've finished cutting the bottom of the bolts off now. Done as many as I can get to. They're still warm, but they've probably had half an hour now to cool down. I tried to get it as clean as possible, but it's a bit messy. Cutting off a washer and then a nut. So we're um, spin them up with a gun, see which one's come loose. Give it a go. This bolt wasn't moving because there was a nut on the other side. All the track plates are off now, chains are all clear, no more bolts, we'll get the machine pulled out now, get the rest of them off. So to pull the D8 out we decided to use the Bird A, which is a French 6x6 wrecker, and as you can see it's doing its part from the apartment.
at this point we were doing so well that disaster struck. The air hose had decided to unattach itself from the gun, covering me in air and the oil that Dad had previously put down the pipe to help the gun. And after checking my face was still attached, we got to it, we made a speedy bodge repair on the gun again and got the last of the grouses off whilst keeping a close eye on the air pipe. So all the bolts and pads are off now, chains are ready for a sandblast, Dad's just moving the grousers. Nut gun did well despite its little setback. And a shout out to the socket, a cheap Kennedy socket that put up with all the pain about 30 quid that's done all of these bolts still good yeah we're gonna strip the rest of the d8 down now but that unfortunately will be in part two so thanks for watching if you like the content that you've seen subscribe